Okay, so I'm gonna explain where you're going to draw inside of your fortune teller because that can be confusing. So your fortune teller is like this, okay? And you can see I have the outside squares here. These are gonna be most important. This is These are what you're gonna start with. So you can notice that I drew these in the center square here. So if I open up a blank one, this is what yours is gonna look like. All right, so you're gonna start with these four on the outside and notice this center square that forms here naturally. Let me go ahead and put a line around that so you can see what I mean. Very important to do it on the side with the flaps because if you do it on the other side that doesn't have this paper that lifts up, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to see it. So. This is where you're drawing first. Second, you're going to draw on these outside triangles and get a different design in each of those. Okay, so those are gonna be the two most important. Um, so the second, I'm just gonna scribble in blue. So you know what I mean. And then for the third, so this is what I have when I did the first and second steps. For the third, I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so I'm not opening it up. None of this stuff is important on the inside. I'm flipping it over, and you can see I started here to do the square in the middle. So just like we have the square here, I'm gonna do the square on the other side. And I'll show you in purple here, this whole area is what you're gonna do as your third step. So you can see if I put it back together as a fortune teller and stick my fingers in, what you'll see first is the red in the first, and then the blue in the second, and then if I lift it, this is what I'll have for the third portion.